Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertics. I wish you all a happy new year. So let's start our today's topic where we are going to learn about the most easiest topic but most of the bug bounty hunters don't try to exploit in bug bounty programs. Yes, I am talking about the CRLF injection vulnerability. Where we will see what do we mean by CRLF, how we can exploit it and obviously how we can automate this easy find vulnerability. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's understand what do we mean by CRLF injection vulnerability. But before that, we will learn what do we mean by CRLF over here. So the word CRLF stands for carriage return line feed. It is a special code used in the computer to show where the line starts and ends. And it is a character sequence used to represent the end of the line in text field and various network protocols. It consists of two characters which are merged together that is come into the CRLF but in uh, original it is a di two different uh, consistence. So CR means carrier written and LF means line feed. So let's just understand both in a different way. So the word CR character which is in the XKI code we say at 0D uh, is used to move the cursor to the beginning of the current line. And LF character means that is our in SKI code which is 0A is used in the conjunction with the CR to move the cursor or the print head down one line without changing its horizontal position. So when we use this both together that is a CRLF sequence it represents the end of the line indicating that the next character should appear in the beginning of the new line. So it might be some kind of confusion, but don't worry, we will understand with the help of CRLF injections. So the working of CRLF, it will be like, suppose if I send a message from the client side, hi Cybertics, how are you? So, but in the computer or in the request part, it will look like this, hi Cybertics slash R slash and then how are you? So over here, the slash R slash N slash N is for the new line represents the carrier return that is CR and the line feed characters over here. So let's just understand how, what is the use of the CRLF and where we can see it. So it plays a crucial role in formatting and structuring the communication between the web browsers and server. And with the help of image, you can see that how CRLF is used in HTTP headers. Now these HTTP headers are the line of text that provides important information about the request or response being sent between a web browser and server. Each headers in the request is separate from the next using the CRLF that is the slash R and slash N. This helps the server to understand where headers end and when the next headers will begin. So what do we mean by slash R slash N? In computer programming language, slash R slash N represents two special characters. Slash R stands for carrier written Imagine an old typewriter where you have to push the carriage all over the way back to the beginning of the line. Slash N stands for the line fit that is the new line. This is like moving the paper up and bit so you can start uh, writing into the new line over here. So we had understand about the CRLF. Now how what do we mean by CRLF injection? It is a type of web application vulnerability that allows an attacker to inject arbitrary HTTP headers into a server response. This allows an attacker to steal sensitive data and take control of an affected system. In this, attacker inserts both carrier returns and the line feed characters into the user to trick the server. So, CRLF injections can lead to access vulnerability also. How to perform CRLF injections? So, suppose if there is a 302 redirection or temporary move. So, in this request, you can perform a CRLF injections over here. How we can do it? Now we are injecting the CRLF injection payload. In addition, another cookie is added in the response. For the better understand, we had used the pay payload that is the person 0D, person 0A that we had seen in the SKI format. And we are using another header, HTTP header that is the set cookie which, are, which is used in the HTTP response header. And we are using a uh, person 20 with, for the space and hacker percent 20 again space with the help of uh, is equal to percent 20 professor. So 
when this particular request is sent in the get based so in the response we can see that another header has been included with the set cookie hacker professor this is how crlf injection vulnerability works over here so it's an automation time let's see how we can automate crlf injection vulnerability and find some bugs over here to first crlf we are going to automate it using the tool that is the crlf first so this particular github repo i will give you in the link description so you can access it so for the installation part they had given uh, you can uh, use it from the source or the from the binary or from the git clone or you can directly use it so over here i have already installed it so let's just understand the crlf first using so let's just type crlf uh, first oh, okay so let me just move into the tools directory over here so cd tools slash uh, crlf first and hit enter then crlf first hyphen h so let's just see the help menu over here and you can see you can directly enter the urls or it depends what do you provide over here you can uh, uh, crawl the urls from the wayback urls and then save it and you can directly use the crlf first or you can directly use the domains over here so with the help of l so let me just clear the command and you can uh, see what we are using so over here i am using a target that is the dell.com over here i had uh, gathered the subdomains of the dell so and let's just see if we are getting uh, any kind of crlf injection vulnerability or not if there is no crlf injection vulnerability it will give you an error like this way error so it means that there is no uh, crlf injection vulnerability exist over here but what if you get a valid crlf injection so it will look like this so let me just open it so suppose if you get any crlf injection vulnerability it will say like vln that is it is vulnerable for the crlf now for the exploitation part you can just uh, click on it and you can uh, intercept the request with the pub suit and then you can see that there will be extra additional parameter that is the set cookie where the param is equal to crlf first you can try to escalate it into the access vulnerability also so let's just wait for a second and see if we get any kind of vulnerability exist over here or not so as we can see that uh, there is no any kind of vulnerability happening over here and it is not vulnerable but there might be chances what if we can uh, get wayback urls of this domain and crawl with the crlf first there might be possibility on the another endpoint make sure you keep a note of it that crlf injection vulnerability only happens in a html pages only if there is any json response there is will be no any kind of crlf injection vulnerability happen but there will be a possibility but you can try to perform it on the both of the endpoints so i hope you understand what do we mean by crlf injection and how we can automate it using crlf first tool make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel along with the github repo link make sure you join our telegram community channel also link will be given in the description so you can access it so i'll see you in the next video till that time goodbye and jai hind